Hello again. Um, again, a little bit of a gap since I did a video. Uh, I have been painting uh, and I've actually managed to finish a few bits and pieces. So I thought I'd show you what I've done in the last couple of days. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the results of my endeavours. Here is my 6mm War of the Spanish Succession French Army. I've added uh, quite a lot more units to this. I've now got um, the most of Roselle's corps completed. Um, he commanded the infantry contingent in uh, Oberglauheim in the centre of the Blenheim battlefield. Um, he's got four brigades of infantry. I've got three here done. There's a the fourth is another three battalion brigade, uh, and when that's done, that'll be finished. And next to that, I have the cavalry of Borg's command. Um, one of the brigades has an extra element to go, and then there's a third brigade of three units. And then that will be Borg's command complete. Uh, sitting at the back, right at the back here, we have two units of Dragoons. They weren't um, in either Borg or Rosel's command, but they came in the uh, in the army pack from Bacchus, and I've painted them up. Um, they were involved in the battle in another sector. Um, but nevertheless, I've added them here. So I shall uh, set the camera up and have a closer look at some of these. I'm not sure how, how well it's going to work with 6mm figures, but uh, we'll see. Here is a shot of the infantry component. Um, the first uh, line of three battalions are part of Kurtkin's brigade. Um, the second line of three are part of Clare's brigade. These are Irish, so although it's not easy to see here, they're in red coats. And the brigade of five units at the back is uh, Isenheim's brigade. And they're right at the back, you can see the dragoons again. So I'm just going to move along a little bit. Uh, and here we can see the artillery, four units of artillery, and behind them we've got Borg's cavalry. Um, I have some generals to do. Uh, I've only got uh, four of those sorted out at the moment. Um, but it's coming on quite nicely, and I'm quite pleased with those. I'm just going to turn, turn the uh, uh, one or two of these units around because uh, they get better. I'll, I'll turn the Irish around so you can get a better idea. The army looks like from behind. Right, I'm going to move back to the Irish. Right, I've as you can see, I've turned two of these brigades around, so you can see them from behind. I've given each battalion two flags. Um, if it's the first battalion, it's got a white uh, flag and then the uh, more familiar coloured flag. Um, and if it's a second battalion, I've given them two of the coloured flags. Uh, as you can see, they are more colourful from behind. Um, I didn't use the standard bearer model that came with the infantry pack. I I thought that uh, I needed slightly bigger flags so they'd stand out better, so I used a separate pack of pikemen. So each of the flag bearers is actually a pikeman. Um, I'm quite pleased with how it's come out. It gives them uh, a very distinctive flag. Oversized, perhaps, but... Uh, uh, it works quite well. 
And as you can see, these French units I've done in three ranks uh, of ten men, and then with a command party uh, just in front of the the colours. Um, when I come to do the British and the the Dutch. Um, because they had a different way of forming up the battalions, they're going to be in two lines. I'm going to have to think carefully about how I do this, because technically the Allied battalions were slightly bigger than the French battalions. Um, so I think I'm going to have a command party in front, two lines of 12 infantry for the main body, and then I might have some... Uh, extra numeries uh, dotted behind the two ranks to indicate file closers and drummers and uh, the, the people who were standing behind the battalion to make sure it kept in order. Um, I think the visual distinction between the Allied formation and the French formation will be quite... Uh, well, for me it will make it a bit more authentic. Um, so there you go. Uh, that's my 6mm project. Uh, it's moving along quite nicely. Um, I've got enough figures to paint for the extra three infantry battalions I need and the extra unit for one of the cavalry brigades, but I'll have to order some more from Bacchus. And who knows at this time how long that might take. Right, so I'll wrap up there. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting and I will come back shortly, I hope. <laughs>